Let's ride, Swordbreaker. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Ho! Terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. Heard there might have been people trying to break in, so here I am. Hang on, let me try and reason with them. Uh, hello? Jesse? It's over, admin. We're here to... Excuse me, excuse me, we? What? Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja, Ivor, told me you were dead. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. And that's your fault. He was only telling you what I told him to tell you. This is between you and me. Uh, suppose you're right. So, let me guess what your plan is here. See if I've really got the Jesse thing down. You want to slug it out, Jesse uh Jesse, to take back your face and control of Beacon Town, right? No, I know you're way too powerful for me to fight one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if you've noticed, but your people out there, your friends, they just love the new you. I'm the best Jesse that's ever been. The posters, the adoration. I heard there's even a parade later. They love me. They don't really love you. They're afraid, you maniac. What? They're terrified of you. The only reason they act like they like you is so you won't make them disappear. Well, maybe I should make them disappear then. All of them. And you know what? It's just as well you're back. Because being Jesse is the worst! Oh yes! Yes, I said it! I hate being you! Your, your people, your friends, they're so needy, so clingy! I have to listen to their stupid voices day after day after day, just asking for things. I, mean, I, I thought being Jesse meant that people would do what I wanted to do! No one ever asks what I want! Ah, oh, it's all, can I have iron and can I have gold? And what are they using all that stuff for anyway? Ugh, oh, so annoying! That's what being a leader is, Romeo. It's not all fun and bossing people around. Sometimes it's hard. <sighs> yes, well, it's terribly disappointing is what it is. It's just... But it was fun at first. I'd show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, maybe that is the best way to proceed. For the love of... Finally, yes! That sounds like a perfect plan! Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad you agree. <sighs> well, this has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah! The next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm gonna get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader. A great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these... these wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe... maybe I'll have more fjords in the next one. Oh, I love a good fjord. I wonder if there's any way to make the next set of people any friendlier. Huh. Now hang on a second, Romeo. We can still be friends. 
You don't have to bedrock over anything! Yeah? You... you really think so? Yes! Mm. Nah. Bedrocking time! Oh well! Toodles! Oh, this doesn't seem good! Oh, you guys are okay! Yeah. He just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew, such a jerk. Stop this! We need to take his powers away! Find the terminal space! The roof! That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing! Go! Come on! We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up! Here. Yeah, but we don't know where here is. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, uh... I, uh, found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Yeah, kinda hard to make sense of it all. Hashtag potato 451! It was, uh, it was a good thought, but, uh... Password protocol initiated. It's him! Oh, it's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected password protocol. Oh, it's like an automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So, wait. He has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here, too. Kinda... makes me feel bad for him, actually. Nobody ever said it was easy to hang on to your friends. Please 
please enter your password to begin a new program. I... that was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato451. Sounds like progress, right? It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato? Please? Acquiring potatoes! Items dispensed. Thank you! Two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison, but it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm. Gotta figure out which one is correct. Good thud or a bad thud? It's Fred? Zara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. You're... Well, I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you, your world's done. No, take that! Jesse, hurry! Sea Temple? Kalu Kale, Jesse. Remember when we first met? Oh. That was back when I thought we could still be friends. Huh. Friends. This temple, this challenge, was 
my first gift to you. Now, it's going to be where I bury you. Huh. Running out of platform, Jason. <laughs> Nowhere to run. Ah! Use the gauntlet. Just die already. This is impossible. No one gets to make me small. I can't. Why do I feel so powerless? Come on! I certainly hope you're enjoying this trip down memory lane as much as I am! Give it up. Oh, I am going to... Uh, you don't... Don't touch me! Touch me! Touch me! Petra? <laughs> Aren't you happy to see me? Our friendship's gotten a little rocky on this adventure, hasn't it? Little... Warm thing. I wonder who did that? I'm not listening to you, admin. No? That's a shame. Here I thought it would be a nice way of working through some things. I can't even... 
teleport anymore! Through, admin. It's over. You can say that again. How's that level playing field feel, huh, jerk? Get away from me! Make everything so difficult. Everyone likes you, and you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just, I just wanted people to, people to. Place is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. <laughs> We're doomed. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just, just leave me. My power. It was just. Frosting on a, on a cake. An empty, worthless cake. No, this is where I belong. This is where I'll pay for what I've done. I can't believe that, that this is what it took for me to realize. Oh, I've been just so stupid, so blind. You can still fix things, Romeo. No matter what you've done, you're still a person. Like everyone else, you can be redeemed. Redeemed? You... You really believe that, don't you? Jesse, now's the time. We gotta go. Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. Come on, this place is falling apart. We can decide what happens to him later. Let's grab him and go. Now! You're not staying here. That would be the coward's way out. Come on. Lava gets to that portal before we do, we'll be stuck here forever. Then let's move!
Yeah, and not a minute too soon. Oh my gosh! It's not to following me, right? Right? Nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, nice work. Thank you. Sincerely. I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. I do know what I need to do to make up for my crimes, though. I'm gonna return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Fix all the lives I... ruined. And I'm gonna try and find Zara. See if I can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I... What I did to Fred. But if I can heal things with Zara, well, it's something at least. And. and no more admin powers. Everything I do now will just be the normal way. Hope I can still remember how the normal way even works. That sounds fine, Romeo, but it's only the start. You have a lot of making up to do. I know. It's true. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the admin? Is he- Don't worry. He's not the admin anymore. This is Romeo. Well, that's a relief. No more admins for me, thank you very much. I agree with that 112%, Blondie. But Jesse, after everything he did, do you- you really think he deserves to go free? What if he hurts more people? He might... He might have been better off where he was. I know he was terrible, but I saw him sitting there, and I just couldn't do it. Even if he did deserve it, I just couldn't live with myself if I trapped him there. Well, that's because you're a good person, Jesse. But... I just hope it was the right decision. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. Approaching you from this direction and am coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Huh. I think I can hear Ivor, but I don't see him. I'm right here! Hello! Clearly in view! Oh, there you are. Hi, Ivor. Yes, hello. Hmm. So, no more ninja Ivor then? 
Ha! No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Ellie will be easy. Just need to stop by Redstonia. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. Soren? No idea where he is, but I've got some leads. Yeah, take it from me. It might be awkward, but I swear it'll be worth it. Good to know. It won't be the first time I've created an awkward situation. <laughs> well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Jesse! Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... Guess ninja habits die hard. I, uh, hope you don't mind, but, uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been stressful, but also fun. So, like, fun, stressful, stress fun? Anyway, I think I've been doing a pretty good job. You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. This is best day. Whoa! Hey, Luna. Anyway, uh, so with Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But, uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double check and see if you'd already been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. Seeing, you know, that she likes you so much and all. If you've already built her a llama house when I haven't been around, I, I just wouldn't want to double up. Which, by the way, I'd be okay with you doing if you'd already built one, or were planning to. I just want to be sure. And if she wants to stick with me, it'll be my honor to keep taking care of her. I think she'll really like that. I always considered you a part of the family. Okay. Well, uh, stupid emotions. I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse, for everything. You saw me at my worst, and you still thought I was worth saving. That, well, that makes me want to try to be better at being my best. Hoping I can start by helping clean up this dump. Um, uh, <clears throat> you know, poor town. Yeah, what can I say? I looked below the surface and saw that you probably weren't the worst all the way down. What was that about Stella being the worst? Ha! <laughs> hey! I was just telling Stella here that I would take care of Luna for her. Oh, cool. Well, she seems very excited. Yes, and now I must go. Thank you again for everything. Sincerely. Now, you got everything you need, all packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very, you know, bittersweet for me, you know. Um, goodbyes are no good. <sighs> that we have, Nermi. So, I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So, you're leaving, apparently? For how long? Honestly, probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I... Ah! I'm here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. jeez. It'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the Great Unknown, huh? <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. You could start a new town, find temples or dungeons or... whatever you hack and slash types do. Everyone's gotta find their happy place. For Petra, it's mostly in unexplored forests and caves. Yeah. I think I'm closing that chapter of my life for a while. It's time to settle down. Here. 
Hey, you guys are missing out on prime group hug action. Ah, no air. Actually dying. Ah. <sighs> you don't think this is like the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving... No, hang on. Let's not put all the pressure on me here. Maybe I'll go on an adventure, too. You totally could, man. There's nothing stopping you. Even if it is, no matter what, we'll always be best friends. And I know that you'll all be the best friends I ever had. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> too late. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Back in the admin's cabin, I, I know you promised that we'd always stick together. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait, you're leaving? I think Petra and I are gonna hit the road for a while. <gasps> Sounds pretty awesome, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean it does, but, but without you here, who will run Beacon Town? Things are peaceful now, but danger could still strike at any time. Uh, the people could, uh, they could revolt or something. Who do you think, pal? You! Me? Really? Yeah. I hereby promote you from intern to hero in residence. Thanks, boss. This, uh, you have been, you are. What I'm trying to say is that I promise I'll make you proud. You already have. Everyone's going to miss you, you know? And I'm going to miss them too. But if anyone ever really needs me, I'll be around. Come on, Luna. Hoping you'd be interested in a race. Ah, you're on. <laughs> 